what's up it's your girl Shanice welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here I'd love for you guys to hit that subscribe button if you're not new what's good what's poppin welcome back to another vlog so y'all you guys already know that I am moving time is of the essence right now and honestly don't mind my background i'm already starting to move things around get things going so for those of you who don't know that i'm moving i guess i can readdress it here i am moving again to phoenix arizona with brian my hubby we are going to be embarking on a new journey he just got a new job as a coach he is now a corner coach a corners coach at arizona state university which i'm so happy and proud of him just following his dreams and i'm following with him thankfully i have the job that i do have and i'm able to support him and be there for him and make these big moves with him so yeah by the way for those of you who don't know we moved to la dallas and now phoenix in the past two years it's been hard but it's all gonna be worth it in the end and it's just all a part of his career and what he does. I've met so many amazing people on this journey and I cannot wait to see where God leads us next. And I decided to make this video because I was hunting for videos all over the internet, TikTok, Instagram, YouTube of people doing apartment hunts in Arizona, specifically Phoenix, and there was little to none and nobody that looked like me. So. I was just like nobody lives out there or something like nobody's moving over there there's so many for like la dallas um charlotte atlanta but nothing for phoenix so i was like i'm gonna be the one to show you guys a few places i'm gonna give it to you guys so let me share some of our must-haves with you guys and i actually recorded this with brian and i cannot find the footage for it so here it is so hardwood floors little to no carpet um, a gas range, spacious, three bedrooms at least, hopefully, in a good location close to Brian's work. We want very modern and uh, just a good looking overall place. It has to have good lighting, ideally facing south, west, or east, and in our budget. We are not going over budget, not happening this time. We want to, you know, save for a house, save for more investments, all of that stuff. So I think that is everything. If not, I will list it on the screen somewhere, but let's get into this video. Okay, so this first place is located in downtown Phoenix. It was actually over budget at 4,450 bucks. I don't know how I feel about that. Love the living room and how spacious it was. However, the kitchen didn't do it for me. I didn't really care for the cabinets. I love that it had the wine fridge, but the countertops as well as the no gas stove kind of threw me off. But I love how much natural light was coming in and then it had a nice spacious balcony with views of downtown Phoenix, which was beautiful, of course. I could see me and Stormy just sitting out here and catching the sun. And I will say, this is just outside of downtown. You can see the downtown core over there. But yeah, anyways, moving on to the primary bedroom. It was a good size. Love that it had a ceiling fan, nice windows. The bathroom, however, was just super standard, boring, and I didn't really care for it. Like, look at the shower, look at the tub. I like that it was separate, but it was just basic. Basic, basic, basic. The closet was definitely a good size, though. It would probably fit all of Brian's stuff, one or the other, we don't share closets. <laughs> and then it had good storage in the bathroom for all of my hair care products and skincare. But yeah, just giving you guys an overview of the living space again, and then moving into the other wing of the house, there was a nice closet. This was a great coat closet and shoe closet. And then one of these bedrooms would be my office. It was tiny and the closets were tiny. So at this price point, like, who would pay for this not us so moving on to the next bedroom again it was a little small bedroom with a little small closet hated the carpet but it seems like in a lot of phoenix homes they have it and then there was another bathroom another full bathroom it was an okay size again basic nothing special about it especially for the price 
Okay, so apartment two, this is actually located downtown Phoenix and was one of my favorites. As soon as you walk in, you see the beautiful laundry room, very, very spacious, and they have this concrete wall, which I loved. It had a nice half bath right here for guests, and uh, it was just really, really spacious. Like, look at this. Everything is open concept, and I love that. The windows were amazing. It had a nice little pantry right here. It had a gas stove, which I need and love now that I'm used to it. And the views were just amazing. And this was in downtown's core. So it was right across from the arena. I forgot what they call it here, but they have grocery stores, they have shops, bars, everything. Anyways, second bedroom right here. This would be Brian's man cave or my office. And it was a good size. And the bathroom it was a standard bathroom but for some reason i really oh the closet okay the closet was really big like this all the closets here were amazing like so big and then for some reason i really loved the shower and tub combo like i really liked the backsplash it was different from the typical white so i really liked the brown gray tone that was going on as much as i love the location it did not have a balcony and if you'd got one with a balcony it took away a lot of space from the living room and i really want an outdoor space this time anyways we're moving on to the primary bedroom living quarters it was like a whole section the bedroom was a good size it would probably fit our bed very well and then the two closets the his and hers or the hers and hers because this probably would be mine it was amazing i loved it i loved having two closets like you could do winter and summer clothes or whatever you want there's so many possibilities here so i like that and clearly y'all can see i'm really loving this apartment but it's over our budget and we're trying to stick to our budget going on to the bathroom it has a beautiful shower again i love the backsplash and then the sink area they were just okay i like that it was separated so he could keep his side the way he wants to and i could keep my side the way i want to and then that was that and i forgot to mention in both apartments the amenities are top notch they're really good this is apartment three it's located in old town scottsdale it's called the carter this was one of the cheapest ones we looked at but was actually one of our favorites and if they had it available we probably would have got it so you open up there's a coat closet there which we liked it was a nice size laundry room with some storage and then you're just straight up into the kitchen area um, which was also very well done I actually really liked it for some reason. Loved the brightness of it. It didn't have a gas stove, but I was willing to compromise and be in a good location. And for the price point, oh well. I really loved the floors of this place. They said it was like real wood. And I was like, wow, these are beautiful. But anyways, moving on to, I believe this is the second bedroom, which was a good size. Office space, man cave, whatever. The bathroom was also very nice. Love the tiling in the shower. Love that it wasn't white. It would really pop in my videos too. <laughs> and it had a good closet space. Um, it wasn't huge, but it was a good size. And the lighting was also very good. This was my favorite part, the OMG. Do you see how big this patio space is? It's like a whole nother apartment. It is huge and I would literally sit out here all day. Even in the Arizona heat, me and Stormy would be laying out here. And it's so close to everything, you can actually walk. So this is the primary bedroom, which seemed a little bit smaller than the other bedroom, but it had double sinks, which I liked obviously. Good storage for all of my products. And then it had a garden tub with a shower combo. Again, for some reason I like the backsplash or I like the tiling. And then a big, huge closet which would fit most of our stuff, if not all of that. So this next apartment was a loft, and as soon as you walk in, you're right to the laundry room and the kitchen, like almost every apartment you ever see. But I love this one because it had the huge windows. However, every window was facing another apartment, which just seemed like a breach of my privacy. All of the windows were facing north, so it was pretty dark, and I hated that. The bathroom was very standard. I love the light around the mirror, but that was about it. The closets were a great size. Love that. But again, the bathroom was just super standard and boring. And why is it that all of these places have gray walls? It's just very weird to me. Oh, and I forgot to show you the other side, but it was pretty much the same thing. It was like roommate style. It was the same thing. Moving up the stairs, this is the loft space, and it was pretty small, and the bathroom was very small, and 
honestly not cute at all and there was this humming noise because the furnaces are right outside of your patio space and you could hear the humming throughout the whole house and I hated that so this was definitely a no like it had everything we wanted but it was in a great area but it was just a no nope 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 So this was another one of my favorite buildings called the Vitri, located in North Scottsdale. It had its own like, little community area. It's like right outside of shops and everything. But this place was just, it was lacking. So you walk in and you have the washer and dryer. Um, all of the finishes in this place are honestly beautiful, loved it. it. It was different than the other apartments because of all of the gold accents and the different appliances that they had i really liked it and i liked the gray version that they had as well it was it was beautiful but this specific unit that they really only had available sucked it was super dingy and dark because it was located in the corner so you were blocked by all the buildings and all of the light and it just made it super unfortunate you guys can see how dark it is in this video um but yeah i love the bathroom you guys can see how bright it was in there because of that light right there and i love the tub the gold accents just do it for me every time the gray wall also looked like stone it was it was nice but again look at this bedroom it was small i had to put it on 0 0.5 so you guys could actually see it and the closet it was decent but it was small and dark this room was just as small and it was a primary bedroom love the shower and the bathroom but that was it. The closet was tiny. But the amenities in this place, wow. The gym, amazing. The They have a sauna, they have a steam room, they have everything you could think of right in this apartment complex. So that really sold us, but they didn't have anything available except for this unit and we weren't interested. I'm gonna show you guys outside on the balcony because as spacious as the balcony is, there was no natural light coming in, which was unfortunate, but we move. So we were tired of the apartments, baby. So we went to go see a townhome located in Phoenix. This was definitely in our budget. It was a great size. This was Brian, one of Brian's favorites. <laughs> Not mine, but it was cute. It was cute. <laughs> so this is like the living room, dining room area and kitchen. It honestly had everything we needed. It was spacious, just the finishes weren't my cup of tea, but it had a nice pantry, half bath, and a two-car garage, which was great. The location also, I had no idea where it was, and just driving there, there was nothing there. So for me, it was just like, uh, not too sure about this. I really love the outdoor space though. I love the way they landscaped it with the little bushes and stuff and the little piece of grass. I like this. It was private with the brick wall there and the tall fences. It was a nice space. I personally would enjoy that. And so would Stormy and Brian. So going upstairs, there is a loft area, which would be Brian's man cave or my office. And then this was the bedroom, the, the primary bedroom, which was huge. It was definitely a good size hate those blinds they would come down immediately it had one small closet over here which could be used as like a coat closet or something and then the bathroom was it was very basic i didn't care for this bathroom at all just being completely honest it would do for sure but i don't know even the sinks they were like small like nothing would fit in there <laughs> but the actual bedroom was big it was really nice size the closet was huge one side for me one side for Brian, it would fit a lot of our clothes and then we would have our own personal bedroom. So this was a great selling feature for this specific townhome. So this is another bedroom which I would probably make into my filming room and guest room. The only thing about this place is that all of the windows were either facing north or they were facing another townhome. Anyways, there is a linen closet which is great storage and then another full bathroom which is nice for guests and then another good size bedroom. Honestly, this place was very appealing in terms of the price. We'd be able to save more for a down payment on a house, pay off debt, invest more and get more bang for our buck. So it is definitely a contender. 
So next we went to go see a single family home. I really love this place. It was so bright, so area, area, airy, even though it had like some black finishes or black paint. The kitchen was honestly beautiful. That range, that gas stove top was incredible. And I just personally love the aesthetic of this place, obviously. <laughs> It had a small little pantry and the kitchen opened up to the dining and the living room. This was the first place we went to which had all hardwood floors and they were beautiful. Small baby closet though but they made the most of each closet. And did I tell you that they had four bedrooms and like two living spaces so that was really nice. I do wish they had another bathroom because there's only two full bathrooms. I love this place because out of every window you've seen greenery. It was just so pretty to look at. Do you guys see the light coming in? This was another just like bedroom or whatever you want it to, to be, like a media room, man cave, office, really nice space. This house faced both south, west, and east. Like the lighting in this place was insane. Hated the green. I wonder if you can paint, I'm not sure. But it opened up to the front of the house. And then this was another space which opened up to the back of the house. I would use this like as another living area. Um, it was really nice, but it was too much house for us. It was just unnecessary. And I would honestly be kind of scared to live here, especially when Brian is gone traveling for work. Scary. This is the primary bedroom. I really loved it. The bathroom was amazing. The shower was incredible. It had two shower heads and one rainfall shower head. So we could take showers together and we wouldn't even be arguing about the water temperature. You can have cold. I can have hot. Love that for us. But yeah, I really love the matte black fixtures throughout this entire house and bathroom. It had its own little water closet. This closet was a little narrow, but they did make a great use of space with all of the shelving. And then this little nook back here was like a little laundry space, which was nice. It's like in its own little space by the garage. So I thought that was really cute as well. Now this townhome was definitely top three for me. You walk in, there's a little nook area where you can hang up your jackets um, and shoes and stuff. You come in and I just like that there's a walkway before you get into the townhome. So once you get in, there is a half bathroom, very simple, not much going on. And then you open up into the kitchen, dining and living space. I love how open it is. It's very bright, very white. It's west facing, so you get that really nice natural light. And there was a doggy door for Stormy. All of the units came with a doggy door, which I thought was so cute. A nice desk area where I don't even need an office. I could just put my computer there and work from the living room, which I love. The space was just it was nice. It felt very homey to me. I love that it had a light fixture for the dining room and then the kitchen was bright white, had a gas range or gas stove top. There wasn't a lot of cabinet space, but I think we can make it work. And then the outdoor space was this patio area, which was private. I can definitely see myself out there with Brian having a glass of wine. And I love that you're looking at greenery and not at other people. We put Stormy out there and she was having the time of her life in the rock. She loves rocks for some reason. But yes, the kitchen, super nice. I can see myself cooking there and just having a good time. So this is top two, top two. <laughs> there is a garage here as well, two car garage and a lot of space for storage. So let's talk about these stairs. I love the light oak wood floors. Stormy got up them easily. The floors though are bomb. They are so beautiful. So once you get to the landing space, where am I going next? We go into the primary bedroom. It is a great size. I do not like the dark carpets, but it's something I can look past. But it was a very good size primary bedroom. I really like the bathroom. Um, I like the backsplash or the tiling in the shower. It was like this gray taupe color with a window, which is a plus. I love that. It was nice and spacious. It was a decent bathroom, better than a lot of them that we've seen. So I cannot complain. As you guys can see, I was like kind of happy about this place. <laughs> and then it had its own water closet and then it had a nice size closet with a lot of shoe shelving or bags, whatever. So coming out of the primary bedroom, we are gonna go to the laundry room and it's on the second floor, yay! It was a decent size. I had a little bit of storage here, but I do love that it was on the same floor as all of the bedrooms. Um, 
and then going to the other side of the house we have another full bathroom um, this one wasn't as nice as the primary but it was okay something we can definitely work with and at least it had a tub it also had a linen closet which was great so I can put all of our towels and blankets and things like that and then two bedrooms going off to the side so one would be my office slash beauty room and then one side would be well not my office because the office would be downstairs well one would be a beauty room for me slash filming room and then the other would be brian's man cave and again it had decent sized closets for both of them so a lot of storage space for all of our clothes and shoes and bags and all of that Okay, so now that you've seen all of the places that we looked at, hopefully this was helpful to anybody who is moving to Phoenix, Arizona anytime soon. Somebody's messaging me. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure you guys could tell which one were our favorites. Let me know which one you guys think we picked. And I will see you guys all in the next video. Moving vlogs are going to be starting very, very soon. So stay tuned for that. And subscribe if you are not already. Deuces.